Howard Garrett, The Dirt Doctor here with some advice on healthy living. The second step of my mosquito control program is to improve irrigation and reduce breeding sites. Residential and business landscape watering should be drastically reduced. Controllers should be set on manual rather than automatic, so the systems run only when the button is pushed. The policy of allowing automatic irrigation systems to run daily for short periods of time should be prohibited by all cities. Native plants and organic techniques and products should be encouraged because they will typically reduce watering requirements by about 50%. That savings happens because healthy soils hold moisture at appropriate levels for longer periods of time. Drain standing water. Empty all the containers, pools, ponds, swamp areas, and other bodies of water that contain stagnant water where mosquitoes breed. West Nile mosquitoes breed only in stagnant, stinky water, but other nuisance mosquitoes get started in wet sites of all kinds, including tiny bodies of water. Clean up trash. Intensive trash cleanup is critical. This includes pickup and disposal of plastic bags, cups, cans, bottles, lids, and other trash items. Automobile junkyards are a particularly serious problem. Old tires are specifically a major problem. We'll discuss the next step of Mosquito Program tomorrow in our Healthy Living Commentary. For all your questions in the meantime or to join the Organic Club of America, go to DirtDoctor.com or our Facebook page. Go organic and enjoy your healthy gardens.